हेलो लर्नर्स माई सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर अरविंद कुमार दुबे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट स्कूल ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटलिटी सर्विसेज मैनेजमेंट इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रॉम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टी एस फोर हुज टॉपिक इज इंडियन कल्चर परस्पेक्टिव फॉर टूरिज्म दिस इज द कोर्स नेम इट्स एट क्रेडिट कोर्स एंड द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड दैट इज रिलेटेड टू कल्चर एंड हेरिटेज हुज ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर This video is going to elaborate on the meaning of culture and heritage and the elements they consist of. We are going to discuss meaning and problems of culture and the factors which contributed to the making of our culture. As we know, heritage is associated with inheritance that is what has been transferred from previous generation to present generation for any country and society. Heritage and culture are base of survival. it is going to decide attitude and heritage of society and country as a whole for understanding heritage one must understand prevalent forms present in the social domain it must be clear in the mind of learners prevalent forms combined with spirit is going to decide heritage of a country and society in general heritage of any society can be understood by understanding cultural forms by seeing expressions by understanding attitudes their spiritual wisdom by understanding and religious forms in case of india heritage and culture is complex due to time span and influence it is not easy to understand culture and heritage there are so many reasons for that first most important reason is exposure exposure with outside world and starting criticizing whatever we have without understanding its scientific base second is problem of root we are not interested in our ancestors scientific achievements and reasons of incorporating certain features in our heritage and culture we don't know about our ancestors and their history we are not ready to grasp problems of our ancestors survival due to outside invasions in ancient period and medieval period like gulam wans khilji tughlaq sayyid lodi moguls british etc we very easily forget plight and misery of our, our ancestors survival survival due to approach of outside invaders related with conversion and spread of particular religion with force and money other problem is complex nature of our tradition and culture our tradition culture and heritage is the culmination of development of physics chemistry biology anatomy earth electrical and magnetic gravitational like forces astronomy astrology ecology geology climate environment sound waves energy flow ayurveda yoga agriculture impact of color and locally available resources it is not possible for a person to have masters in all subject so that he or she can understand science hidden in culture and tradition there are many other problems of heritage and culture like there is a difficulty in meaning transfer there is a problem of validation there is a problem of understanding there is a problem of form there is a problem of modern life pattern there is tension and responsibility competition due to all these reasons there is no growth from inside and masters of craft as earlier let us see what is the role of heritage in our society this heritage or we can say culture is carrier of historical value from past this is the only medium of transfer of knowledge understanding and development of one generation to next generation heritage and culture is the identity of society it is unique for every society and one can differentiate one society from other society by observing their heritage and culture it is a part of cultural tradition it gives direction to society it regulates society it decides personality of a person living in a particular environment indian culture 
is unique in several ways. It has an uninterrupted history of evolution dating back in the past to nearly 5000 years. During all this period, it has enriched itself by assimilating diverse kinds of influences and impacts. This has given Indian culture certain vibrancies and has saved it from a monotonous uniformity. In fact, the pulsating mosaic of this culture is most vividly displayed as you go across the length and width of India. You will simultaneously discern a split of unity that underlies this enormous diversity. Thus, when we talk of Indian culture, we actually speak of a rich plurality of cultural traditions and not monolithic entity. This plurality in some cases is the consequence of a common origin as in the case of the majority of Indian languages. In other cases of shared heritage such as our music, architecture, many popular religious cults etc. and in still others due to a common struggle against the colonial rule. Equally part important is the fact that we also perceive ourselves as part of a common culture cutting across national boundaries. This common cultural heritage is the legacy of a complex interaction of various cultures through centuries of shared existence. We shall in the following sections take you on a historical journey through the evolution of Indian culture. Now let us discuss culture and heritage problems of definition. Let us begin this journey by first arriving at a debate over what constitutes culture. The word is often used interchangeably with civilization and both have a history in what they have meant at different points of time and in different societies. Both referred originally to a process and in some senses this meaning is, is still inherent in the ways these two words are used. The term civilization is now generally used to describe an achieved state or condition of organized social life as well as the process whereby it has been arrived at. Through comparative studies, we today also come across terms such as western civilization, modern civilization, industrial civilization etc. which are descriptive. So, culture as a concept is more complicated than civilization. The word is used in various ways denoting values of general human development which today are not easily questionable. For example, freedom, democracy, equality etc. The particularities of different communities which constitutes their rights and expressions also are included within the meaning of culture. There are three broad levels with a certain overlapping at which the meaning of the term culture can be understood. First is the general process of intellectual, spiritual and aesthetic development. Second one is a particular way of life whether of a people, period or a group. Third one is the works of intellectual and artistic endeavor expressed through music, literature, art, film, etc. Heritage is a similarly broad concept. It often carries the meaning of culture too. Whatever we inherit from our past generation can be called our heritage. In terms of contents, it includes our craft traditions, our music, our dance, our painting, our architecture and other art forms side by side tradition of production and technology, different system of therapies, our environment with all its biodiversity, our system of philosophy etc. Our cultural heritage has a strong popular content and is pluralistic in character. 
but it also contains many elements which inhibit our development as a nation like caste system, superstitions etc. We therefore, have to be conscious about what aspects of our culture we should conserve and emulate and what elements we must discard. Now, let us discuss culture and its determinants. Culture is determined and shaped historically and socially. It in its turn influences the social, economic and political development of people or nation. This section will deal in detail with this complex interaction of various factors which has influenced our culture over thousands of years. Let us see how culture, society and history are intermingled. To begin with, culture is the life and mind of a society at any given time in history. The culture of a particular society or age cannot be separated from its historical context. The continuity, change or transformation in cultural traditions is influenced by the social, economic and political developments at any given time and vice versa. To give a few examples, the growth and changes in agricultural production are inseparably linked with the emergence, development and changes within the Vedic civilization in India. The Vedic civilization which gave birth to Varnashram and the caste system has in turn exerted great influence on Indian culture. The caste system, an inseparable aspect of society through history has assumed changes, modifications and flexibility to suit the changing needs of the various ruling groups in India. The early Dravidian civilization has been an important influence because of its cultural significance in a specific historical and social context. The flowering of art and literature as well as the Buddhist monuments of the Mauryan and Gupta period would not have been possible without the prosperity and increase in commerce during that period. The same can be said for the Chola temples or the Vijayanagar structures. The Bhakti movement had as its basis the growth of trade and commerce and the consequent growth of towns in the 14th and 15th centuries, which motivated a questioning of the cost restrictions in certain occupations in the name of religion. The preachings of Bhakti saints in the people's languages and their compilation made possible the growth of Braj, Avadhi, Rajasthani, Gujarati, Marathi, Punjabi, Kashmiri and other regional literatures. The enormous expenditure involved in the magnificent architecture of the Mughals was possible only because of the significantly increased state share in the surplus production during Mughal rule. Development of new musical forms and their popularization in the courts, translation of important text of the world as well as growth of new techniques in production were immensely helped by the court patronage generated by this increased surplus. The concept of equality as part of anti-caste and peasant economic struggles, the movement for women's education and emancipation a scientific temper, secularism, a democratic culture and the culture of democracy took shape in the context of modernity that came with the development of capitalism in India as a result of the impact of British conquest. Let us find political structure and their impact 
on culture. Political structure have also had an impact on our culture throughout its history. For example, the period of political decentralization as after the disintegration of the Gupta empire and later the Mughal empire resulted in the growth of regional cultures. Similarly, the periods of centralization such as the Mughal and the modern periods helped in the development of a composite syncretized tradition that has the same balance of a national culture. The religion professed by a ruler can inspire the development of art forms bearing those religious expressions. It does not however mean that other forms were suppressed. Similarly, a more liberal democratic and secular rule may witness the growth of non-religious art forms as seen in modern and contemporary India. An oppressive ruler can also stimulate cultural expressions of protest as seen during the colonial rule. Let us see what are the outside influences on culture. No society has existed in isolation or remained uninfluenced by the other societies it came in contact with. This is as true of our country as any other and we have had contact with the outside world since the earliest times. We have taken much from it and given much to it. Our entire scientific and technological heritage is a shared heritage. Repeated new influences as a result of trade contacts, conquest followed by settlements and adoption of intermixing with the native population by different tribes and races through India's history have enriched India's culture. The time brought with them forms of agricultural products, new gods and beliefs. With Turkish conquest came gunpowder, cavalry and new techniques, stitched cloth, arches, paper, glass making techniques and water wheel are some of the elements of civilization which came from outside. Persian influences after the Mughal conquest brought into being new melodies, musical forms, musical instruments, dasta and ghazals as forms of literary expression, miniature paintings, etc. The composite syncretized culture and flowering of different regional culture came from the interaction that shaped that shared life gave to India. It is a culture of unity in diversity. Let us see cultural awareness and history. Even cultural awareness has a connection with history. For example, a scientific temper is possible only in the context of modernity as are secularism and an attitude of pluralism. We cannot search for an awareness and consciousness of these values in our ancient past. The past may contain many things of great importance. At the same time, however, there are many things like slavery, caste system, discrimination, religious intolerance, etc., which must be seen as contrary to our development today. The past and present both must be critically examined and then the positive things be assimilated and the negative things be discarded. So, as a sum up, in this video, we have discussed the various factors 
which had influenced our culture through thousands of years. The meaning and problems of heritage and culture has been elaborated in this video. The determinants of culture, relation with society and history, political structure and its impacts, impacts of outside influences, cultural awareness and history etc have been elaborated. The cultural heritage has also been examined by tracing its development through history. Well, students, in this particular video, we have discussed about culture and heritage and it is my assumption that you people have understood what is culture, what is heritage, what are the problems and how to generalize those things. Thank you so much.